No one, and I mean no one, does Terrified better than Don Knotts. Whether he's cast as a character in the Old West, Outer Space, or in this case, as Deputy Barney Fife, patrolling the mean streets of Mayberry, North Carolina, this guy nailed it when it comes to making something scary seem pretty darn funny at the same time. In this video, I'm going to share a few fun facts about a classic episode of The Andy Griffith Show from Season 4, simply called Haunted House. So the house in question belonged to this crazy-eyed feller, Old Man Rimshaw. The house had been abandoned for years. No one dared to go inside. Rumors of a floating axe and other ghostly apparitions were enough to keep the town folk far away from any dangers that might lurk within. One chap, a supposed ghost hunter from Mount Pilot, ventured inside a couple years back. No one saw him come out. Now, let's be clear, folks weren't watching either. That's just what Juanita down at the diner said. Yep, everything was fine. The citizens of Mayberry kept their distance, and everyone, except for that ghost hunter feller, was safe and sound. Well, until this happened, yep, a stray baseball, pitched by Arnold and hit by Opie, ended up inside the old abandoned home. The boys thought about running inside and grabbing the ball, but then, all of a sudden, they heard a horrible moaning noise from inside, which caused them to run away and head to the courthouse slash sheriff's office to get some help. What happens next, folks, is pure comedy gold, with a fright or two mixed in for good measure. This episode is one of my favorites, and I make it a point to watch it one or two times every year. You know, there really aren't that many great Halloween TV specials out there. So along with It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, this thing is required viewing. All right, are you ready for some fun facts? Let's get rolling. First one, the haunted house featured in the episode was actually in one of the greatest movies of all time, Gone with the Wind. Sure, it looked a lot different in that movie, but sure as shooting, this is Aunt Pity's house. I wonder if the ghosts of Rhett and Scarlet have ever wandered on in and taken a look around. Another fun fact is that this house is located right next to Andy's home on the actual set. Of course, you can't tell that from this episode, but apparently Sheriff Taylor was neighbors with this creepy place. Another fun fact is that the 1966 movie The Ghost and Mr. Chicken came to be at least partially because of this episode. Apparently, while filming Haunted House, Knotts really enjoyed the mix of shocks and laughter and made a mental note to look for a project that would allow him to expand upon those same themes. Interestingly, while Knotts was making The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, he brought in Griffith as a consultant to help polish up the script and give it a bit of a Mayberry fill. Which wasn't hard because of all the Andy Griffith Show regulars who made an appearance in that film. I think it's also important to point out that while Barney gets very scared in this episode, he also acts with a considerable amount of bravery. When Barney, Gomer, and Andy run out of the house, and then Barney realizes that Andy didn't make it out, he goes right back in. This is a critical characteristic that both Barney Fife and the ghost of Mr. Chicken's Luther Heggs have in common. Sure, they're scaredy cats, but they also have the ability, when necessary, to rise to the occasion. Another fun fact is that without giving too much away about the ending of this episode, I think it's fair to say that a few years later, it would be emulated over and over by that classic Hanna-Barbera cartoon, Scooby-Doo. Without any of that bootlegging and moonshine, of course. Lastly, I should point out that this episode is one of the most highly rated by fans. On IMD, the score for this particular episode is a whopping 9.2. Fans of the show consider Haunted House to be one of the series' best, along with episodes like Citizen's Arrest, The Pickle Story, Man in a Hurry, and Christmas Story. Okay, enough yapping. Do you enjoy the Haunted House episode as much as I do? Please share your memories in the comments section below. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. And what the heck? Why not consider whether or not you'd like to subscribe to my channel? I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, 
the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.